Okay, so this is the record power uh, Sabre 350. Just ordered from GM Tools. Arrives on its pallet, and I'll see how I get on with assembling it. Christmas is early this year. Okay, so some of the bits and some instructions, which I suppose I ought to read. Never know. Change that bit of a lifetime. Okay, so this is the uh, base panel kit uh, which you've got to assemble according to the instructions. Yay. Uh, so a neat little tool kit with uh, lots of spanners and stuff. So this is the bottom. Apparently you have to have the holes that are slightly uh, more away from the front, 75mm away from the front, that means that's the front. This means this, this, means this is the left hand side. Duh! Okay, deliberate mistake. I've got the panel on upside down. The, stiff, the stiffness should be underneath, not on the top. Well, a lot quicker reassembling it than it was assembling it. Uh, one point to note is that because there's a, a gap to make sure the bolts slide in, that you might need to slacken it off to fit the, uh, the these rails in at the front. This was a tight fit, like slacken the bolts off and shimmy them round to make sure this would actually go in. Right, well that's the back panel also on. Uh, there's a whole series of bolts that you've got to put on for the back. Uh, so that's coming along okay. All right, then you put extra bolts on the front. Theory this show. the door on which just slid on to the couple of uh, divots uh, the shelf tightened up that's ready okay so then the next bit is the uh, contents of the um, mobility kit okay so this comes with a, a bar that is designed to lift it up off its wheels, a bracket, and this is the turn bar for the front. I think I'm going to leave the axle and the wheels off until after it's actually down on the floor because I don't want it rolling away. This is the uh, bar that uh, allows you to lift the uh, unit off its leg, off, it, off its bottom. Well, wash up. Right, the packaging is off, uh, but it's lying on its side, so it needs to be rotated over to lie on its back before I can then um, add the base section to it. And I'm going to get somebody to help me with that. And then rotate. And then rotate. Without getting your fingers squashed. The fiddliest bit with fitting the table was uh, getting these uh, bolts uh, adjusted so that the bar is completely level to the uh, table. That just took a bit of fiddling to do. The uh, adjustment of the 
bearings is dead easy. You just slacken these off, they pop out. You push these in, it's against the spring. So much easier than other ones. And you've got decent bearings at the top, and decent bearings at the bottom. Uh, and the table is just bolted on with a few bolts, which is actually quite easy to do. Uh, and overall, it's uh, a great success. Very much more robust than the previous one that I had, which was also record power, but a smaller version. So uh, it's had a few cuts already, and it runs very well. Just fire it up.